All right guys, Chris here with Rack Up and Go, and today I'm gonna to be talking about hooking up your 12 volt DC air conditioner. In this video, we're gonna be doing the Dometic RTX to your EcoFlow power kit. Let's get started. All right guys, so with most 12 volt DC air conditioners, they are pretty power hungry. And our power kit here, on 12 volt DC output is limited to 1,000 watts or about 70 amps. Now, the Dometic RTX is capable of pulling up to 59 amps, which consumes quite a lot of the power that this is capable of outputting. Not only that, but our AC-DC distribution panel, our inputs in here, or our outputs, I should say, we only have enough width in these inputs or these outputs here for I would say maybe up to mm, 10 maybe 8 gauge cable and what's required for the RTX is a 4 gauge cable. So now not only that but these are only able to go up to 30 amps each and I just said RTX goes up to 59 amps which is going to require an 80 amp fuse. So that kind of takes our AC-DC distribution panel out of the equation and is the reason we're actually gonna be running the RTX to these positive and negative bus bars. So the way we have this set up today is we've got our power hub, our 12 volt cable coming out. It comes into the bus bars and then from the bus bars, we have a cable coming out and coming into our AC-DC distribution panel. And we're gonna be wiring in our 80 amp fuse and the ends of these cables to these bus bars in order to get the power to the RTX due to the limitations of the distribution panel. So we'll pop these covers back on real quick. And we'll close this up since we are not working in the AC-DC distribution panel today. We're just gonna be working on these bus bars. All right, so we've got our covers off of our bus bars. Positive on top, we've got our power coming in from our hub, our power going out to our DC distribution panel, and then same for the negative bus bar, power coming in from the hub, and then power going out to the DC distribution panel. For this RTX install, we're actually gonna be taking off the third lug for the negative, and the positive, and this is where we're gonna be attaching our power cable to. So we're gonna have an 80 amp inline fuse going on the positive side before we make our connection here. So we'll tighten this down, just hand tight for now. And the negative will attach directly to the bus bar. And I think we'll route this so that it's coming out the top just for consistency sake. So. Let's snug that down there. Now for the EcoFlow bus bars, we have these little kind of like windows here. I've got, you can see I've got this one opened up so that we have our inputs and outputs coming in here. This one's gonna be coming out this side, so I'm actually just gonna pull that. And now that cover will easily go over the top. And then we'll do the same for positive. I've got the input and output coming here. And then this side, it's gonna go over here. Position the cable so we can fit that, so we know that that needs to go there, okay. And then we'll finish up by snugging down our cables. All right, we've got our top connection for the fuse here. So this is where our positive cable is gonna be coming in. We'll loosen this up. We'll snug this down. Now this is just gonna hang loose here for 
video purposes. Normally this is gonna be mounted to this board. We've kind of run out of board here. So we're just gonna let this hang. And then this cable will come over to our RTX in order to provide power. All right, we've got our main power cable connected and we're ready to turn the unit on. So, come underneath here. We've got a blue light, 62 degrees at our set point, and she'll start to power. All right, we've got our RTX plugged in, turned on and running. So you'll notice from this output right here, it's showing zero watts. And the reason it's showing zero watts is because we're pulling the power for the RTX from the bus bars and intercepting it before it gets to the AC-DC distribution panel. So our output's only showing us what's coming from the AC-DC distribution panel. However, we can go into system and under system, we can see our voltage and our current that is currently being pulled from the battery. So we're at 52.29 volts in negative 8.5 amps. So we're pulling around 450 watts currently. And the other nice thing is it will show the available time that you have left. So the amount of days and hours will reflect the actual output, even though you're not able to see it from the output screen here. We are able to either back into that calculation using these numbers here. Um, and also we can just see the available time if that's what we're concerned with. All right guys, so we've got our RTX all hooked up and connected to our bus bars, our 80 amp inline fuse. For the battery sensing cables, you know, those are gonna go to these same bus bars. We didn't hook them up in this video, but those would run right to these same two points. And we're able to go through and show how we can see the total power output using, used by the RTX using the power console. So if you have any questions, please contact us at customercare at rackupgo.com. And remember, life's an adventure, rack up and go.